Hello and welcome to the Dales Divide Roundup video. As expected, didn't get much footage. I was cracking on, um, but I thought I'd do a little video roundup, sort of what happened, what went on, how I kept, how I finished. If you follow me on social media, you already know. But um, for those of you who don't, you'll find out. So, a little recap: 600k. Uh, I think it ended up being 9,000 meters of elevation, certainly close, uh, a lot of off-road, probably, well a good 70% of the time was off-road, as I mentioned before the race was on Good Friday, and as it turned out it was a Good Friday, uh, but yeah 8.30 on Arnside Pier, and I think um, 200 people signed up on track leaders uh, to ride, and then probably another good chunk more just to just to ride the route go the distance so then 8 30 rolled around and of course in my excitement i was first off straight up the first climb it basically starts with a reasonable climb um nudged it relatively hard considering what was to come and that kind of set the i guess set the bat the bar for what was to come for the next six hours um first two three hours were super quick heart rate was i think i averaged like 160 bpm for three hours of what was to be a 38 hour and 58 minute effort you know so it was pretty pretty tough um so yeah i got stuck in um there was a group of maybe eight of us got a pretty reasonable gap quite early on um at about three hours in two three hours in i sort of settled into my own rhythm still nudging it on the climbs but starting to starting to pay attention to what i was doing really and trying to pace it well the first 100k was really oh jeez fucking wind man so the first 100k was really much of the same a lot of climbing hiker bike and it was a hard pace i think it took around six hours i may be slightly off there but it was around that and yeah it was tough uh at the end of it i was sort of like Whew, it's a long way to go <laughs> but yeah so that's probably the end of that 100k rolling into the next sort of said to be that the first 150k was the hardest so that carried on pretty relentless for that first portion and so in that second 100k uh, it was it was all right i sort of settled down into the position that i would hold for quite a long time actually into eighth um so i sort of bedded in i was i was feeling okay not too bad but i was still, i can't lie it was starting to nip in the legs um and again towards the end of that 200k we started 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 to roll into york which would have been just over 200k but probably the next sort of major waypoint and that was sort of what marked end of the day start of the night rode through york in the dark probably about i don't know nine o'clock maybe um and spirits were high going into the night to be honest i'd fueled well i hadn't stopped had i stopped i'd stopped once by this point uh just water and a wrap um i'd been really focusing on not stopping keeping the stopping time super low and trying to carry as much stuff as i could kind of in prep for highland trail to be honest so it was almost a trial run the next chunk would be from york to scarborough and that was a quite a long chunk uh it would have been about 100 and 100 and oh maybe 100k 100k to scarborough and it was on the whole it was all right obviously through the night hadn't planned on sleeping at all so i'd just taken sort of a bivy shelter very lightweight one as i said not planning on sleeping so pushed out of york feeling good feeling fueled and now is the time to take on the night so as riding through the night goes that night was probably one of my best i didn't get tired at all uh, i covered a good bit of ground so 
as I was saying, I wanted to get to Scarborough. Um, and on the way, there were some questionable bits of route, some hiker bike through super steep fields. But yeah, got to Scarborough at about 4 a.m., maybe a bit before, which is weird because it was dead. <laughs> Nothing going on in Scarborough at 4 a.m., that's for sure. Um, and yeah, it was, was weird, but quite nice. Uh, felt like a good chunk of the route ticked off. It was over halfway, 326 kilometers. Was in need of a bit of water. Um, I'd, again, I'd fueled it well, so I'd kept my entire camelback for the whole night. That worked really well. Um, so yeah, coming into Scarborough, I was sort of aware that it was gonna get light soon, but God, it dragged. It was getting light for about two hours, and it always does. You, I always forget how long it actually takes to get light. Um, I was riding with a guy called Joseph as well at this point. Um, so we were sort of riding together through this long, long forest track, it's gradually uphill for, felt like a long time. But yeah, so Joseph eventually stopped for a week, I pushed on, and that took me into the day. So started the day climbing up some bloody long climb, I can't remember what it's called, off-road climb, and then came another chunk, the peat bog section. Let's talk about that in a sec. So the peat bogs was the start of a pretty tough section for me, personally. Uh, I started to get to my head a little bit. And the peat bog started with a long descent through a peat bog. Really slow, it was like a K and it took maybe 15, 20 minutes. Then it followed with some rolly road, a lot of climbs, bogs, and stuff like that. And it really started to sort of grind you down a bit. Um, and it was tough mentally. That was probably the low point towards the end of that section. That was definitely a low point, but sort of picked up again. Coming into, I guess the second late afternoon, I stopped early afternoon actually. Um, I knew I was getting close now, about maybe 150 Ks out from the end. Getting close, um, it was, it was at that point I stopped to get another bit of food. So this is my second stop. Um, basically grabbed a sandwich, cracked on again. Um, we'd done some really nice riding, sort of on the top of a on the top of a hill. Sort of a lot of riding on the ridge and gravel stuff. Sort of stuff would be really enjoyable um, on a normal ride, but you know, starting to feel it 24 hours, 20 to 30 hours in now, it, it was getting grippy. So yeah, grabbed lunch cracked on straight away i was like right i'm getting this stuff done i want to get it done now maybe 2 p.m um from this to the finish the last 150k now it's in your head now that you're nearly there which is funny because 150k normally off road that's a big that's a big day out but yeah so i so i know i'm i know i'm getting there i'm getting there now and it was but it was tough really tough off road on road off road on road um grabbed a bit more water and I was like right we've got I think it was coming into 100k to go this is it I knew once I was in that last 100k mentally it's nice because you're taking down you know 10k off 90k 80k 70k 60k and I was just there tapping away tapping away caught a few of the people who'd done the cut through that was nice little chat to them bit of morale but yeah it was getting really hard now um it didn't ease up at all. Um, started then a big climb up onto sort of a moor. I never know any of the names of any of the stuff, so ask someone else, to be honest. But up a long, tough climb to a moor, and I just had to go for a shit. So I stopped, had a shit, cracked on. Um, and yeah, I was... I was I was sort of... Mentally, I was, I was tiring a bit now. I was in fifth place, sixth place, maybe. No, fifth, fifth. Um, and I knew I was getting there. There's there's two big climbs to go. Up the last, up the second to last one, that was okay. Dragged like hell, but it was all right. And then everyone had been saying, right, one last climb and then it's descent to the finish, descent to the finish. And I was like, right, cool. I'd gone into third briefly. Uh, Liam Yates passed me again on that last climb. I was sort of just tapping in my rhythm. I couldn't really change the pace. Over the top, right, boom. 40K descent now, apparently. No, no, 3k descent, another 3k climb, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 
for what felt like an eternity, but it was probably three hours, maybe more, for the last 40k. It was bloody hard. Um, and I lost the bloody... I lost the plot at the end, to be honest with you. I was... I was on another planet. I was in a field, lost in a field. Couldn't, couldn't, my eyes wouldn't like correlate with the GPS route. So I just couldn't work out if I was on route. I was sprinting around this field like, ah, ah, I'm never going to get out. I jumped over a wall into like a pigsty over some barbed wire. I jumped back over, off, over, off, over. Finally found my way out to realize there was another 3K bog ride section. Lost my bloody mind. And then it was, and then it was 10 miles to go. Boom. I was like, right. 10 miles to go it felt like i was absolutely wasted i don't know why if i was like i was drunk or something eyes were blurry i was like Ugh, riding along and it just felt like i was constantly going around a left corner i was like ah, ah. like i honestly i've not quite been that fatigued before i don't think um that was probably probably the worst and it was this 10k road section and i had no perception of distance and and sort of time passing so it felt like it went on for like three hours but it didn't uh, and I finally rolled up into Arnside in fourth place in a time of 39 hours and 58 minutes. Um, Justinus, I can't remember, I can't never remember his last name, it's bad, but Justinus won by a country mile, broke the record. A guy called Ollie was second, Liam Yates was third, I was fourth. I was pretty happy with that. Um, I knew I could have improved it quite a lot if I'd not buggered up a couple of areas, but I was happy with, I had a stopping time of about 30 minutes. Um, which I was happy with. 30 minutes in 40, just under 40 hours is not bad. But yeah, that's a, that's my Dale's Divide. It's, it's a weird, disjointed video. Um, I just wanted to get it out, to be honest, make it. There's going to be better videos coming. I'm sorry about this video. It probably sucks. And to be honest, I just wanted to make, make a video. So yeah.